what's going on guys in this video we will discuss panning how to pan our drawing first I will show you the following way to use pan command and then I will tell you the shortcut key and a shortcut way to do it so to turn on your pan command you can type P press spacebar or enter and as you can see now the cursor changed to hand tool and now you can click and drag just want to mention one thing here that we're not actually moving or drawing we're just moving our camera to view different parts of the drawing so let's say I'll zoom in and I want to see the other part of the drawing so I can just click and drag and as you can see I can move my camera and see other parts of the drawing okay so we got three options here to get out of the command press escape or enter to exit or right click to display okay I'll go and press escape just want to tell you guys escape is the universal command to get out of any command in AutoCAD so I'll go press spacebar what it does is basically it just toggle on the previous command what we used you can I'll go and press escape again you can use enter as well to get the previous command on and I actually set up the right so let's say I'll zoom in and I want to see the other part of the drawing so I can just click and drag and as you can see I can move my camera and see other parts of the drawing okay so we got three options here to get out of the command press escape or enter to exit or right click to display okay I'll go and press escape just want to tell you guys escape is the universal command to get out of the any command in AutoCAD so I'll go press spacebar what it does is basically it just toggle on the previous command what we used you can I'll go and press escape again you can use enter as well to get the previous command on so if I click right and you can see we got these options I can just switch to these command directly from the pan command by clicking right click okay if you go to the zoom you see your cursor changes to the zoom and now you can click and drag down to zoom out click and drag up to zoom in and to go back to your pan command you can right click again and go to pan and then pan around okay now we'll look at the other command which is old panning command if you learned AutoCAD a long time ago and then you wonder that is are those commands still exist in AutoCAD all those commands you can toggle on by pressing dash and then I'll go right P and as you can see now we got the different panning command it's asking me to specify base point or displacement so what I do now is I have to specify a base point I'll click here and I'll just drag this line to about here and I click as you can see that our drawing has been panned to that that much so this is the, these are the old commands but these are not useful nowadays we've got better commands like if you use the general panning command currently in AutoCAD 2016 it's worked much better but the best way you can pan in your drawing is by holding your mouse wheel as you can see when I press the mouse, mouse wheel it changes to the hand the cursor changes to the hand and now I can hold and drag wherever you want to go this is the easiest way and most commonly used way to pan around into your drawings I want to draw a circle. I will go and draw a circle. I will specify a base point. But let's say I want to I'll just find out that I want to draw a bigger circle. So we can use panning command by it's called a transparent panning command basically. If you use the mouse wheel, it will let you pan around to your image while you are making your circles. So that means that any command you are in, you can still pan around by holding your mouse wheel down and drag around. It is very useful. I use it a lot, and you're gonna use it a lot. So Get your hands on it. Okay, so we look at another way of panning. Type OP to go to the option, and then in a display, you got display scroll bar. If I toggle it on and apply, and now you can see that our we have our scroll bar on the left and bottom. So I can actually just move my scroll bar up to pan around now. So let's go. I'll just go zoom out, and then I'll just move my scroll bar. As you can see that we are moving our point of view now by panning so it's not very useful anymore so I don't really keep my scroll bar on in AutoCAD so I'll just go ahead and just turn it off that's it for now guys if you like my video click on the like button be sure to check out my other videos and follow along with this course I'll see you guys in the next video and the next video is going to be about zoom command and I'll see you guys in there cheers